In this video, I show you how to download and install Optifine on Minecraft. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And please do make sure this video right until the end so the full steps and any troubleshooting things you may need help with. Optifine is a great tool for optimizing Minecraft and it also adds a ton more features as well. So without any further ado, let's go and jump into this. First step is, is to go and open up a web browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome and then you want to come to a search engine and I'm using Google. Then all we're going to do is simply go and search for Optifine, but do keep watching, I'm showing the official site and the full install guide. So go and search for Optifine just like so. And then you want to go and click on Optifine.net. So go and click on Optifine and here we are. Then all you want to do is come to this top row here and you want to go and select downloads just like this. Then, as you can see here, it's going to go and show you all of the different versions. So if we go and show all versions, it's going to show us all the Minecraft versions which Optifine is available for, um, so you can get any of these. So personally, I'm going to go and get the 1.18.1 version, as that's the official release, and the 1.18.2 isn't up to date. But of course, there probably is going to be a newer version of Minecraft um, when you're watching this video, um, but this tutorial will still apply. So then either you go and click on the download button here or the mirror button. The download button makes us watch an ad wall which supports the developers so I'm going to go and click there. So I'm going to go and click on download just like so and we just have to go and watch this ad wall for 5 seconds and then at the top right we can go and see the timer and there's going to be a skip button once it's finished. So here is the skip button so I'm going to go and click on it just like so and then it takes us back to the Optifine site and here is the download button. So I'm going to go and click on download just like so and as you can see it's now beginning. And when you first go and download Optifine, you may go and get a note here saying um, this file may be dangerous. This is because it's a .jar file. So if you get that, it's perfectly safe to go and click keep as it was downloaded from the official Optifine website. The next step is to go and locate the Optifine install file, which should be either in the bottom of your browser or it's going to be in your downloads folder in your file explorer just at the bottom. So all I'm going to do is go and drag my Optifine installer onto my desktop just like so. And there it is. So now we can go and close off of Chrome for now. And then all we're going to do is go and double click on the Optifine install file and either of two things are going to happen. So if we go and double click it, as you can see, I go and get the installer. However, you may go and get, say, a folder open or a whole different program open, or it may not open at all. So if you have any of the issues, this is probably because you don't have Java installed. So to go and install Java, all you want to do is go back to your web browser and you simply want to go and search for Java just like so. And then you want to make sure you come to java.com and then you just need to go and click on Java download, go and download the installer and then follow the installation instructions. It's really, really simple. Then once you've installed it, all you want to do is come right click on the Optifine installer up here and you want to go and make sure you go and click open with just here. And when you go and click open with, you may need to go and click on more apps. And it's going to show you all of the apps you can go and open up .jar files with. And as you can see, you want to make sure you've got Java TM platform SE binary selected. And then you want to go and set always use this app to open .jar files. So you may actually already have Java installed, but you're just not running Optifine with it. So you want to go and click OK, and then you're going to go and get the installer. So go and click install just like so, and then nothing is going to happen. And you may think something's gone wrong, but don't worry, it's doing everything behind the scenes. And then you're going to go and get this notification here saying Optifine is successfully installed. You may go and get an error saying you need to go and download this version of Minecraft, which you may need to go and do. So as you can see, we just went and installed Optifine and then all we're going to do now is go and open up Minecraft. So go and open it up. So here we are, we are now on the launcher. So all you want to do is either come to the left of the play button and go and click on the version here and then you can go and select Optifine or you can come to this top bar up here and go and click on installations and you can go over here and click play as well. Then we need to go and agree to the risk and then go and click play and then it's going to go and launch. Here we are, Minecraft is now launched and to go and make sure Optifine is successfully installed, go and click on the options button, then come to video settings and in the bottom left, we're going to go and have Optifine HD with the version you've got installed and there we go. Now let's go and hop into a game and I'll go and show you some of the awesome features it has. So here we are in a game and one of the best features is Optifine is when you go and press the C button, it goes and zooms in and if we also go and check out the settings, so click on options and video settings and then you can go and get a ton more video settings to go and change as you can see you've got stuff such as details and you've also gone and got animations as well and shaders there are so many awesome features with optifine if you found this guide useful please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel leave a like for more peace